welcome back to my channel. So I have been racking my brain, racking my brain, trying to figure out how I can do a get ready with me because I have so many makeup ideas that I want to share with all of you. So I think I have figured out a setup. I think I have. I think I have. So we're gonna test try this. Maybe you'll see this video. Maybe you won't. I don't know. But basically, this is gonna be my New Year's Eve look. So uh, let's get started. So, to start off with the face, we're going to prime and use foundation. So, for the primer, I'm using the Benefit Professional and my Milani Eye Primer. And then, for my foundation, I'm using my Revlon Color Stay. instant rewind age whatever um, <laughs> my Maybelline instant age rewind brightener illuminator under eye corrector I just do those triangle and kind of pat it out when in doubt just pat it out right guys right guys right yes 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 then we are going to take this um, Caramel Toffee Wet n Wild palette and I just take an e.l.f. blush brush I kind of tap that in and I just lightly tapped it under to set that concealer just lightly you don't want to use too much because it can cake up and look a little gray but lightly we're doing good and I do like to go ahead and take this and kind of cover up the eyelid to kind of set that concealer or that primer up on my eyelid too. So we're done for that. So next thing we're going to go in with is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I just take a big fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics and I just kind of blend that everywhere. Uh, by the way, the brushes I was using for my um, foundation and concealer are both um, BH Cosmetics from the Sculpt and Blend set that they have. So just an FYI. And I do have a setting spray and I'm getting really oily because it's that time of the month. So I'm using my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Probably looks really weird when I do it, doesn't it? All done. Um, next I'm going in with one of these blushes that I got from the Tarte Holiday set. It comes in the four mini blushes. This one is in Ecstatic right here. And I'm taking a e.l.f. blush brush and I am just tapping this on the cheeks. My mirror is right here so sorry. Next, we are going to go in with my, I can't open it, my Fergie Wet n Wild Rose Champagne Glow right here. Um, and I am using the small tapered brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I'm just going to kind of swish it around in there and just put it right on the tops of my cheekbones. And kind of go around my nose it just that glow that glow no okay swatches from another little project on my hands 
Um, I don't think I'm going to contour right now. I may go back in and contour. But we're going to go ahead and jump in to the eye makeup now. Alright guys, so the first thing we're pulling out is my Morphe 35O palette. And I'm going to go ahead and start out with the colors I have been doing every day. So I'm starting out with this color and this color. And I'm going to kind of blend those together to create a transition shade in my outer crease. <laughs> and I'm just using a fluffy brush that I got from some palette. I mean, from some BH Cosmetics set. I'm not really sure which one, but one of them. I'm using this a big old mirror right here. It comes in real handy. So if I'm looking down, that is why. So I'm just kind of mixing the two of those. And we're just going to blend that into the crease. Just to give it a little definition. Okay. Okay. Right here. I'm going in with Beat Down, which is right here. I really want to go for a purple, sparkle, smoky. I just used a whole bunch of words. So, purple, sparkle, smoky. And we're just going to get this on a e.l.f. Um, shadow brush. And I'm just going to pat this all over the lid. Your cheek just push it away with your powder brush. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in the hunt today. And I'm gonna go back in and kind of soften up that blend again from that color and just soften up those outer edges. Really glows and just soften it up. Beautiful. Now we're gonna go in with these two blacks right here and this palette to go in the outer V. So I'm just going to mix them together. These are very pigmented so tap off that excess and I just tap on my hand. Let's get a little bit off because you can always build up but you can never take away black. It's really hard. Really, really hard. So you're just going to add it to that outer V and I like to start swirling up. but that is okay because we are going to clean it up so this shade right here in the vice 4 which is framed we're going to take this on the deluxe crease brush that is a real techniques brush and we are just going to basically clean all this area out all of this so we're going to clean underneath we're going to clean around they're going to clean everything because we about to add sparkle, y'all. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. Where the money at? Right, so we've lost some of that purple right there. So I'm going to go back in with that and just make sure I pat that really good in the inner corner. Okay. And then I'm going to blend whatever's left on this brush. I'm just going to blend that in. So everything blends really nicely. Okay. And then I have a little bit of uh, that purple where I just don't want it. So I'm taking the lightest shade in the Morphe 250 and this flat base shadow brush. And I'm literally going to just blend it away. This brush is phenomenal at getting those places that you just can't reach with any other brush. It works amazing. Then the sparkle is about to hit the ever-loving fan. Are you ready? Uh, so this is 
a Stila um, metal foil shadow and this is in the shade Dusty Rose and basically I just want to get a little bit of this and stick it on that purple. I'm telling you I want glitter and until I get glitter this is the second best freaking thing that I own. So we're gonna mascara we're gonna go in with a favorite of mine it is the voluminous miss manga mascara and that's gonna be for my bottom and my top lashes I think for 2016 I've kind of made it a goal of mine to start using falsies so we shall see how that goes and I gotta look like real close for my mascara And we're just going to take that brush again and just get all the little excess away. And this is the look. Oh, I'm obsessed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the other, other eye and then I'll be right back to show you my lip color. So I hope you enjoyed this face tutorial. I hope it was super good for you. Um, I hope I was in frame the entire time and hopefully you'll get to see exactly what I did. I'm going to go ahead and show you the eyes close up so you can see that. This lip right now is a little burning. It's really, these are, it's a strange sensation. A little strange. I'll do a review. But yeah, this is my I look for New Year's. I'm definitely going to recreate it. Um, I would prefer not to have this because it is a little hard to work with. Um, but it's all I had and I really want something super glittery because it's New Year's and festive and fun. But if I have some more glitters in my collection, I'll definitely buy those because this one again was a little difficult to work with. But other than that, I do like the purple lip. It's not as vibrant as I wanted, but you know. And I do like the overall effect that this look gave me. If you enjoyed watching this tutorial and you want to see more tutorials from me, then be sure to give me a thumbs up. And be sure to hit that subscribe button right there. Have a fabulous day and I will check you later. Bye guys.